What's going on everybody? Today is currently my 92nd day on this 365 days of keto journey. Um, if you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I am also embarking on a water fasting journey. So I do five day water fast and two days keto on the weekends. I try and do keto OMAD. It doesn't always work out that way, but um, I do have a couple of videos because people always ask me, what do I do on my keto OMAD days? So I will post the card for you guys up here if you want to check it out. So today, um, to continue on my yesterday, I came home, um, I was not feeling good yesterday. I had way too much this weekend on my keto uh, weekend and today I'm still actually feeling the effects of that. I am a little bit sick to my stomach. I woke up, I had a headache, my stomach is still hurting today and I'm um, a little bit stuffed up, so I think I have a cold. I stayed home from work today because I'm just not feeling very well and I don't want to get them sick. I do work with kids, so um, it's kind of inevitable that I would get a cold. However, that being said, um, I have heard that fasting actually helps with um, having a an illness of some sort because, believe it or not, you guys, and this is something that I knew from doing my own research, fasting builds up your immune system. It actually increases it. There's antioxidants going off and your mitochondria is getting improved and there's just all kinds of different things that happen when you do fasting. So you get even more benefits when you dun 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 dry fast. And as you guys know, I hate dry fasting. So I'm going to attempt to do it today. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but like I said, I was just not feeling good. I had thrown up in the morning, I was dehydrated, and I just, I was not able to do my dry fast yesterday. So I want to at least attempt to do it today since I am home. Uh, that being said, I'm really super excited. Uh, we gained a bunch of members for my April challenge in my Keto for Beginners group. I'll post the link for that down below, you guys. You can also follow me on Instagram. And I'm posting a lot about my own personal weight loss journey, but also how to do the ketogenic diet because that's my backbone. You guys know I did keto for almost two years before I started the water fasting. So um, I'm, I'm, going, I'm working on a list. Let me actually show you my list of things that I'm going to be. These are videos that I'm working on for you guys. All of these videos, I'm going to do a video library of how to do the ketogenic diet and everything about the ketogenic diet for my new members um, as well as anybody starting their weight loss journey. So you'll be seeing all of these videos coming from me. Um, also, I'm going to, they'll come up on my YouTube channel, but I think I'm gonna just do one like quick reference guide for my new members in there so it's easy for them to access. If you guys wanna do the April challenge with me, I can go ahead and um, post the card for that up here. And then that way you guys can um, start this weight loss journey. It's never too late to start, you guys. So just jump in there. Um, I, I heard from Amanda today, so I'm calling you out and I'm, I'm really going to keep you accountable, girl. Um, she told me that she just got started. I inspired her to create her own, you know, weight loss journey and, and start vlogging her stuff. So I'm super excited when you guys interact with me and let me know that you're doing your weight loss journey. I love to check it out. I love to see your progress. So I think I'll just check in with you guys a little bit later. Right now I seem to have energy so I'm gonna try and get a little bit of um, videoing done and um, rest as much as what I can today because I really want to go back to work I miss my kids when I'm not working and um, it's just uh, it's not fun being home I really tr I really pushed it yesterday and I went and I probably shouldn't have but that's just me that's my worth ethic so um, I'll check in with you guys later What's up you guys? I'm back. I I made it through the day. Um, I do feel better than I did before. And I, I still feel like I have a cold, but unfortunately um, that's just gonna be what it is. I did happen to 
talked to some of the people in my water fasting group and they did say that um, dry fasting is probably better for the healing aspect um, when you have a cold. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a dry fast today, which normally I'm at work. So I've, I feel completely miserable, but today actually hasn't been too bad. I've just been at home. I've been editing videos. I have been um, doing all kinds of stuff. I did try and take a nap but everybody and their mothers were messaging me and tagging me in posts and commenting and stuff. So, you know, life of a, of a keto owner. Um, I'm trying to really connect with my viewers and with my members and really help you guys out on your ketogenic journeys, um, as well as if you're trying, you know, uh, water fasting or dry fasting, I'm trying to really help you guys get on the right path. I had a member, you know, ask me about how I transitioned into water fasting. So that's actually going to be in a video coming up. And um, it just, uh, there's so much going on right now. The more you interact with people, the more they seem to interact with you. And it's, it's amazing. I love the, the support and the feedback from you guys. It's really great. So, um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel so you can keep, um, updates about when I upload videos. You can click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you want those notifications, when I upload new videos, I try and do, about two or three a week i'm trying to actually push further than that and do even more because there's so much information i want to get to you guys so um thanks so much for watching i will check in with you guys probably tomorrow when i feel better hopefully i'm keeping my fingers crossed send me send me good vibes and and well wishes and uh i'm gonna kick this in the butt it's a minimum day tomorrow wednesday thankfully so um i work with kids so hopefully i feel well enough to go in for you know the few hours they do tend to uh, fit six hours of behaviors into four, so we'll see how it goes. But, you know, I love my job and uh, I need to be well enough to do it because I definitely miss my kids when I'm not not working. So anyway, OK, I'm going to go. I will check in with you guys in the next video.